Well, students are settling back into the routine of being back in school with homework, after school activities and jobs, but that transition, well, it's not always easy. The graduate rate at Aurora Central High School is only 46%, but one group is hoping to change that. Mary Fran Tharp and Khalil Miles, a senior at Aurora Central High School, joins us now to talk this morning about Boys Hope, Girls Hope Colorado, and it's so great to have you both on. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having us. So, Mary, what is Boys Hope, Girls Hope Colorado? Colorado. Tell me all about it. So we, our mission is to get kids through high school, into college, and then to that cap and gown at the end of college. That's a good uh, mission. So we're changing, we're breaking the cycle of poverty through education. And how does the program help children do that? So we um, really focus on the academics and all roads lead to college. So all the different things we do are helping to prepare them for that access to college. Now the current high school graduation rate for teens in the Aurora community, is it right? I said earlier 46 percent. At Aurora Central High School that's the graduation rate. Wow, that's terrible. I'm so glad that you guys are reaching out and helping others make it through. Yep. It's yep. very, very important. Why do you see the number one reason? I mean, what is it? Why are kids having a hard time just graduating high school? Well, I think there are a lot of barriers when it comes to education. The biggest one, as I see it, is really poverty and then the access to quality education and the experiences, whether that's um, involvement with looking towards careers and knowing what you need to do to be prepared to, um, for that career. Mm -hmm. uh, so th those are different Right. Aspects of it. Unfortunately, there's so much more in a child's life these days. Instead of just being a child and going to school, there are so many different things they have to deal with. What kind of support does a child need? Um, I think one of the things that Boys Hope Girls Hope does is really provide the, a holistic approach to um, raising and helping raise these kids. So mm -hmm. it's caring adults, providing mentors, tutors. Um, giving them, taking them to colleges and doing the college tours, helping them with their college essays and proofreading that. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it's just calling them and saying, hey, come on, we've got this volunteer activity and you really need to be there and help us. Help That's it. wonderful. Just have somebody there to like help them a little bit and mm -hmm. give them a hand. And Khalil, tell me a little bit about your experience with the Boys Hope Girls Hope program. Well, I really enjoy the program because it gives me the opportunity to learn what I want to do with my future, and uh, many of these scholars have actually become like a second family to me because of how much we hang out together and get to know each other. That's wonderful. You had positive influences in your life. And I understand there are different parts of the program that you really enjoy. Is there something about delivering bread, someone said to me? Uh, there was one volunteer opportunity where we went to a bread store uh -huh. and uh, we actually rolled the dough ourselves we made different kinds of bread oh there's a picture uh, we yeah. packaged it ourselves and then we drove around giving it out to the homeless that's so sweet. You know, that's one thing I've always said to my boys. I'm 16 and 13. Helping within the community. Community service is not something that you do when you get in trouble. It's something that you should do always to help one another. And it'll come back to you. You know, I'm so glad at a young age you're doing that and you're teaching others. How do you think this program has helped you with success in school, Khalil? Well, it's definitely given me the opportunity to uh, do my schoolwork and learn my subjects better and uh, understand what how other people do their subjects uh -huh. and their thinking process. And Mary, I would imagine there are some tough times with kids and when they're going through some challenging times, how does a mentor help? Um, the mentor is really a critical piece for um, our scholars. They're, our, they're cheerleaders, they are checking in on them. Oftentimes I say um, we become, as the program staff, sometimes we're the ones that are making things happen, but it's the mentors that the kids mm -hmm. are talking to. Right. And then the mentors let us also know what's going on so that we can really provide the supports that they need. Good. Is there a possibility that we, the community, can get involved and help teens? Absolutely. We have lots of different ways. Uh, you, can, you can be a mentor, but if you feel like you don't have time for that, maybe it's coming to one of our career panels and sharing for 15 minutes how you got to where you're at. Mm -hmm. um, our kids need to hear those, those stories. It could be, uh, we have a group, uh, group mentoring, which is really book club. So if you like to read, Good. you can come out um, once a month and um, lead a book club with our kids. Oh, very nice. You can, um, 
edit essays, college essays. There's lots of different Great ways. ideas. All right, I'll give out the web address and contact information. Khalil, my full-time job is radio. Do you know how I got into radio, becoming a DJ? No, I didn't. I asked. Really? I literally asked. I was uh, 17 years old, and I went to the local radio station and said, could I push buttons, please? Can you give me a job? I don't care what it is. Just let me work intern. And that's how I started. And now I have a full-time job. So don't ever be afraid to ask and go for what you really want. It, they, they might say yes. That's the worst that can happen. All right. Help inspire, <laughs> empower, nurture students, and watch them succeed. You can make a donation or sign up to volunteer by visiting the website, boyshopegirlshope.org slash Colorado. You can also reach them by sending an email to denver at bhgh.org. You can also call 720-524-2061. Reach out and help a child.